There we go. Hey, Kami, how are you? Good, how are you? I am good, thanks. Thanks for your time today. I'd like to introduce you to Ashley and to Tommy, our voice talent from Regrets today. This is Kami. Hi there. Good morning. She's from the Mama Diary. She's over in Rhode Island. So way on the Ooh, other side. So Kami, you know, yes. you are like eight minutes. I'll ping you at about the two minute mark when you've got about two minutes left. And um, I'm going to go off screen and you can get started. All right, thanks. Okay. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Tommy. I'm Kate. Hi. Hey, from so good to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you guys too. I'm right from my site, themamadiaries.com. And so the Rugrats, you know, it's such a well-known franchise and I really love how they, you know, like rebooted this series to kind of like pass the torch to the like new generation. Yet at the same time, I think that, you know, like parents are kind of happy about it too, because, you know, for the nostalgia and they're able to, you know, watch with their family, which I think is really special. Um, I really like that a lot. So for both of you, I'd love to know, you know, what is your favorite thing? Um, oh, I mean, no, that would be your favorite thing. I'm sorry. What, is, what was it like coming into these roles um, and, you know, just making them your own? I mean, it's tough, you know, coming into a, a, a legendary franchise and, and filling the shoes of the great Jack Riley, who was the original Stu. Um, so I think the best thing, just from an acting perspective, the best thing to do is not think too much about it. And you're sort of doomed if you if you start thinking about it. You certainly don't want to do an imitation of um, your predecessor. So um, kind of just hoping that your DNA aligns with for me that aligns with the new stew, which I think I think I think it does. I think I think we're pulling it off. Um, um, so bringing you know finding what's sort of authentic to you and bringing it to the characters. I think it, I think the key to to making it work because it's I mean you know it's it's uh, animation but it deals with some um really real relatable stuff so you know to the extent that you can can bring that stuff from your own life into it I was just telling Ashley before we got on with you I have a I have uh, my my child is now 14 months old so my story kind of parallels Stu's second season Stu a little bit so I'm kind of using that as a resource also you're using it as a resource. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a polite uh, euphemism for how I'm right, right. <laughs> I'm it. <laughs> Ashley, what about you? Oh, yeah. I mean, very similar. Rugrats is so beloved. And I think the fact, I think when I got my first audition for it, I was just in shock that I got to even read for it. And then when I got to actually do it, it just, you know, it it's hard in the sense that it's a show that people have been watching for so long. People love it. People have like their favorite characters and episodes. And um, Melanie Chardoff was the original Dee Dee and she is so amazing. And I think getting to come after her, it just, um, it, like Tommy said, you don't want, you, you, the, it, it would be the death of you to try and, um do anything the way they did i think you just have to bring yourself to it and again hope that whatever is it within you is what they saw to be a good fit for this new iteration of the character and just kind of go for it but i mean she was so amazing i loved Dee, Dee like the original Dee, Dee, her hair and just she had a little more like sass i think and i just love that about her i think i tend to be a little more on the neurotic side. And I don't know what that says about me in my real life, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to say. I think she's incredible, relatable, like as a mom, you know, especially a first time mom, just like, cause yeah. it's like her fears and stuff. I mean, yeah, my kids are much older now, but you know, I can relate to that for when, especially my first, he's 13 now, but you know, when just when he was first born and just all those those fears that everyone has as a new parent. Um, yeah. yeah. So what is your favorite thing about your character and how are you able to relate to them? Well, I mean, I'll just step in the, uh, like the Stu's frantic energy is my favorite thing to play. <laughs> Stu, Stu is, um, is, is, you know, high, high strung maybe to, to put it kindly. Um, I'm, I'm a little, I, I would qualify as the, as the same. So slipping into that kind of gear, there's too much going on. Um, how can I sort of balance childhood with my own 
you know, goals to be an inventor or something. Now I'm speaking as Stu. Um, I'm not an inventor. Um, <laughs> the, um, well, I wanted to be when I was a kid. Um, and then um, I loved, I love some of the stuff that we've done recently. There is a, there's a scene and I, and I'll forget the episode name where Stu discovers a gray hair and the exact same thing happened to me within a month of recording the episode uh, this wiry one sort of wiry gray hair popped out and I had a melt my poor wife was like god <laughs> I didn't know I signed up for this you know so to the extent that I can kind of you know I'm talking about using my kid as a resource to, to, to the extent I can use my anxiety as a resource to like tap into to stew um, I like it and it's just so funny I mean Ashley would probably say the same the stuff is so cleverly written and so funny it's just kind of you kind of just get on that joy ride during a recording session and and um and and, and I, it's, it sounds cliche but it, just have fun with it you know just i, I just mm -hmm. love reading what they're sending us yeah same i mean every time i get a script and i read it I'm, i find myself laughing out loud and if there's any moment where i feel like i don't know what to do all i have to do is look back down at the page because it really is all right there for you and i think i love about dd is I just love her open heart. Again, like her fear, it's there. She has anxieties. She's not afraid to show them. But then always by the end of the episode, she like finds her way through the fear and, you know, goes for things anyway. And I just, I love that about her. Um, just, yeah, and she sees the best in everybody. She's always very, <laughs> you know, she just, I don't know, her heart. I think she just has such a sweet heart. She does. Stevie has a, maybe the biggest heart in the whole show. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> yeah, they're both they're both really fun characters. You guys, you must have a lot of fun playing them, I would assume. Um, so what is a storyline that you would like to see for each of your characters that maybe necessarily hasn't been done yet? Oh, something that they'd like you'd like them to explore, because I love how like, you know, in this this series that you the parents are featured a lot more, which I think is really fun. That's um, a great, really good question. Yeah. I uh, and, and and we when we cover so much ground, it's really hard to answer. I um, I think and 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 uh, something tells me this is probably already in the works because they um they've done such a good job of of like updating these the parents into kind of millennial parents and hitting issues that you know modern parents deal with um and. It might be fun to do one to see the sort of uh, juggling taking care of kids and taking care of yourself physically. I, we've, I, I know we've kind of danced around that, but you know, trying to get back in shape while also sleeping for 30 minutes a night and that kind of thing. Like, again, we've probably brushed a, a, upon that at some point, but um, it's certainly a struggle in our house. Yeah, but they're really good at bringing all of these like life things into the show because I think I was going to say something similar like in in the realm of you know taking care of your kids and also like living your own life that is still yours and and doing the things that you want to do that maybe don't always feel like they're gonna work with kids but um and I know that we've you know there was the episode where we all went out to a concert I think they all did and and that that happened and then the kids ended up showing up I think I don't I think that's the season pilot. Right? maybe not the pilot yeah yeah that was it <laughs> yeah. right and so I just know I don't have kids but I know from my friends all my friends have babies and I just feel their frustration when I'll say hey come over for dinner tonight around seven and they're like nah. Seven is seven's bedtime, and we can you know, oh, maybe next time we could do around four, <laughs> you know, just things like yeah. that. Yeah, you know what they do a really good job of is uh is and there's an episode where where Dee Dee and Stu are are kind of decluttering, right? I mean, they do that a little oh, yeah. bit, but but then when they're they're going through pots and pans and they're kind of going down memory lane, and there's chaos in the background, they've got kids, all this stuff. And they re they remember it. I think it's a wedding gift or something. Mm -hmm. And they connect, and there's this little bit sort of private moment between the two of them, and a little bit of romance. Um, and it's really sweet and 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 so and something to aspire to. I, you know, they they um they they do a good job of grounding it in those uh, in those 
you know, parental moments, for lack of a better term, when, when you know, the, the, the sort of screams of the kids kind of fade into the background. Um, um, yeah. It's just sort of, what it, it's, it, it, you know, you ask about your, our favorite stuff to do in the series. It's really fun to kind of, uh, you know, use that emotional gear a little bit too. Right. Okay, well, that is the time I have for today, but thank you guys both so much. It was so great meeting you. And thank I'm you. Great meeting I'm excited you for, for season two coming in just a few days too, Friday? right? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Exciting. yeah. Thank you so much. You had such great questions. It was really fun to meet you. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck to both of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.